Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We received an uh, email earlier this evening from some of the aggrieved parties by this legislation of its past. Those that are going to see, I believe it's going to be a 12% tax on fireworks. And they were advocating that we don't tax the 4th of July. And I think that was a good message for them to put out in their anti-fireworks tax flyer. And I'm not going to vote to tax the 4th of July. I don't think any of you should vote to tax the 4th of July celebration by taxing fireworks here tonight with this, uh, with this bill that's before us. But beyond the fireworks tax, Mr. Speaker, the billion and a half dollars that this legislation proposes to use to close this year's budget out and to deal with the deficit issue, it's, it's akin to those at home trying to deal with their, their weekly grocery bill, their, their, their monthly medical bills in a way that's dealt with through asking their bank for a loan to cover those day-to-day -day expenses, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it's foolhardy financial planning to pay for today's and yesterday's expenses with a loan that you'll not only have to pay off potentially next year, but that our children and grandchildren might have to pay off for the next 30 years. And we really don't know if that's the case or not because we don't know the details of whether this will be a loan or if it'll be securitization against the tobacco money, which is still foolhardy because we're giving up future money that's expected for the benefit of the citizens of Pennsylvania in a way that sells them short today to deal with yesterday's and today's and tomorrow's expenses for this year's budget that we're already into by several months, Mr. Speaker. Well, Mr. Speaker, I think that the taxpayers of Pennsylvania need to beware, not just because it's October and Halloween is around the corner, Mr. Speaker, but they should be aware because tonight, in the dark of night, the swamp creatures will be rising up from their desks to cast yes votes on this very bad policy, Mr. Speaker, damaging the taxpayers of today and the taxpayers of tomorrow with this very bad decision. And Mr. Speaker, I'm one of the Republicans that voted against spending money we didn't have. I think that was a foolhardy piece of legislation to spend money that we didn't know how we were going to pay for it. And the governor was complicit in that and not actually line item vetoing what he needed to do to make sure we had a constitutionally balanced budget. But now, Mr. Speaker, this legislation here today, just because it's October, does not fix a problem. It creates more problems for the taxpayers of today and tomorrow. Taxpayers beware, the swamp creatures are out to get you tonight. 